So today we're quickly going to show you how to save as a document. So this allows you to create easily and quickly create a copy of the document within the same folder or within a new folder. So firstly open up the file, we can edit the document with Word Online, move to file, save as, and this will create a new document in the same folder that you're working in now. Give it a name, save it, and we can then browse back to our document library. And we can see the new file there. Now we may want to actually create a file and save it into a, another folder. So here you'll need to open up your full version of Word. This is going to open up the same document in the familiar Word interface that you used to on your desktop. You can edit it, make changes as you need to. So it's going to quickly add a table and some details. You might be updating customer details or something in this proposal for example. We're going to go File, Save As. And here you'll see we're going to save it to the sites and this is our WinTech site and this is the current folder that we're working in so it's the same folder we're in now. But what we're able to do, we can either save it into there if we want to, but we can go back a number of levels in our folder structure. So in this instance we want to go to a completely new folder for a customer, so we're going to go back two levels. And here it's going to bring up our customer list, this is our new customer folder. And again this might be a quote, and we're going to save it as a new name. And we'll just save that. So now that's saving directly to SharePoint online, a new copy of the file into that new folder. So we can close down our Word. We can see the original file there, so we're going to flick back to our SharePoint site, go into our customer library, open up our customer folder where we just saved that file to, And there we have it, the new file that we just created.